see the different types of binary trees available. Some of the binary tree available is full binary tree, perfect binary tree, complete binary tree, skewed binary tree, degenerate or pathological tree, and extended binary tree. First, we will see what is a full binary tree. Binary name itself says it cannot have more than two children. Either a zero or a one or a two children only, each node will consist of con contain. In this type, each node of binary tree has either two or a zero child. This type of tree is used to represent mathematical expression. So if you see this, each node has only two children. And uh, strictly here and this can be used for uh, uh, expressing the expressions, uh, mathematical equations, it, it will be used for e expressing them. Perfect binary tree. A binary set to be, tree is said to be perfect if all its internal node had exactly two children. Here, all internal, this is an internal node, this is an internal node, except the um, leaf nodes, all nodes have exactly two children not less children. So if you take this, this is a perfect binary tree. If you take this, this is not a perfect binary tree because this uh, parent has only one child. And this is also a, not a uh, perfect binary because this does not have, uh, here all leaf nodes are not in the same level. This is, in this level there is a leaf node. Whereas this is at the another level. So the, for example, level zero means zero, one, two. In level 2, there are some leaf nodes and level 3, some uh, in the leaf nodes. So, this is not a perfect binary tree. So, the condition for a perfect binary tree is all leaf nodes are on the same level. Here, if you take all are in the same level, whereas here, here it is level 0, 1, 2, this is and here it is 3 and so on. So, this is also not a perfect binary tree. Complete binary tree. In this type, all the levels of the tree are completely filled except in the last level. Last level is nothing but our leaf nodes. The last level has all keys as left as possible. So even if there is, they will, they, even if the leaf nodes are there, uh, so for example, this, this may not have a, another child. Two children are there, but only one children. But still, the tree is having all the nodes to be filled in the left child. So here the left is filled, here also left is filled, here it is, there is no right, that is okay. And here if you see this, this is wrong because here the left, for this, this is the left, this is not filled. But here we have the left child and this also does not have. So after root node, these two has to be filled, then after B, these two has to be filled. Then here D, uh, this has to be filled. Then E must have the left child, left and right child. Then only C has to be filled up. After A, B, then after B, D, then after uh, D it has, then E and so on. Like that only. Here, without filling the uh, children of this E uh, and without filling children of F, this has a left child. So this is not a, a complete binary tree. Skewed binary tree. If a tree is dominated by left child, here root, after root it has only left child. Then this is a parent node. This has only one child, that also a left child and so on. So this is called left skewed. Here right children are only that. There is no left children. So this is said to be rightly skewed. And only one children. Degenerate or pathological binary tree. In this tree, every parent node has only one child. Either a left or a right. If you take this, this is a parent node, this has a left child. This had a right and right. So this is a pathological tree. In this left skewed, right skewed also will come. But these left skewed and right uh, here, they will not come under the, uh, that, that is this pathological tree will not come under the left skewed or right skewed. Left skewed means strictly left children, right skewed means strictly right skewed. But for pathological sin, they have only one node. This also will come under the pathological tree. Extended binary tree. So here, in this every null, so if this is a root node, parent, uh, children, etc. And here, every 
in this every null subtree this is a uh, this is with this it's over but here we have the null subtree of the original tree is replaced with special node and it says null subtree means it may be a leaf node so that is replaced with special nodes which is represented by a square empty circle represents the internal node so yeah, these are all known internal nodes and the square represents the external node the nodes from the original tree are internal nodes and a special node these are also to be external nodes every internal node in the extended binary tree has exactly two children and every external node is a leaf here yeah.